This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, July the 31st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. We're on a one-a-day schedule as James Spann is taking a few well-earned days off. There's a quick look at the temperature trace from my uh, weather station in Helena. And interesting to note that uh, clouds moved in overnight from the weather off to our west, and that helped to keep temperatures Nice, but not quite as chilly as we saw on Wednesday morning with those record low temperatures across the area. Skycam network from Birmingham showing uh, that uh, deck of clouds this morning, and we can see those also from the Jasper Skycam as we look out over the courthouse there in downtown Jasper. We're still uh, dealing with primarily an upper trough over the eastern half of the country, and that trough is going to play a role in our weather here for the next several days too as it retrogrades or moves slightly back to the west and then moves east again. So uh, that uh, helping to bring us uh, what could be uh, a little bit of a, a bit of wet weather for uh, Saturday and perhaps Sunday, although I think Saturday is probably going to be the wetter of the two days. Temperatures, as we've noted, uh, not quite as cool this morning as we've seen over uh, yesterday or Wednesday morning, and uh, certainly no records that I'm aware of this morning. The clouds coming from a large mass of rain over Texas, which is expected to uh, weaken over that area, and the QPF for the next several days, for the next five days, is basically on the order of uh, one inch or so, and I think the main threat for those showers will come primarily uh, into the Saturday time frame. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk for part of New England, uh, which is not something we see real often. Uh, but, of course, uh, in the summertime, that's uh, always a possibility. No slight risk areas, but a couple of C-Text areas mentioned on day two. Uh, that would be Friday. And then Saturday, no organized severe thunderstorms are expected. And in the tropics, uh, we're watching this relatively fast-moving system that is uh, approaching the Lesser Antilles. And... Um, uh, still um, fairly high chances that it could develop, uh, but uh, if it does, it looks like it will stay just to the north of the, the Lesser Antilles and pass perhaps just north of uh, Puerto Rico uh, and uh, then recurve out into the Atlantic, and that's uh, reasonably good agreement with the various uh, models. All right, let's take a look at the uh, 060 GFS model run and there's the trough, and you can see the trough axis basically over um, Alabama uh, for today. But that trough axis, uh, and that, that brings us some chances for rain. I think that today is probably just a small, maybe 20% chance. The trough axis does retrograde or move back to the west. Uh, you can see that now the trough axis on Friday is over the Mississippi River Valley. So that puts us into a more favorable lift area. Uh, with uh, the trough off to our west, and so I think we'll see uh, rain chances a little bit better on Friday, but still primarily driven uh, by the heat of the day with uh, the afternoon heating and uh, temperatures still not too bad for uh, the early part of August. Uh, the trough gets reinforced just a little bit on, uh, on Saturday with a little short wave that's coming down on the western side of that, and so that just sharpens it up just a little bit, and so I think Saturday is a day we're going to see more widespread showers and thunderstorms. Still not thinking it's going to be an all-day rain kind of thing, but we could have some periods of rain off and on. The trough axis does move to our east. Uh, it moves by on Sunday, uh, so I think Sunday is still going to be one of those days where we're going to have to watch for the possibility of uh, 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 fairly widespread showers and uh, perhaps even a thunderstorm. When we get out to Monday, the pattern begins to weaken even more as uh, we see the, the, the main trough pulling off to the northeast. Uh, and by Tuesday, we're coming under more of a ridge, ridging across the southern tier of the United States. Uh, but moisture is still in place, so it looks like we're back to just mentioning those daily chances for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, it stays that way on Wednesday, and uh, we do we have a bit of a trough moving through the Great Lakes on Wednesday. Uh, and into uh, uh, Thursday, but uh, that amplitude of that is not significant enough to have too much of an influence down our way as we stay pretty much under ridging. Going out into week two, or what James refers to as voodoo country, and uh, we still see the overall pattern of, of a bit of a trough in the eastern half of the country, but certainly not the magnitude that we've seen 
uh, for the last uh, several days or so. And when we get out to the very end of the period, uh, still the idea of the uh, more or less what I would might describe as a bit of a long wave trough over the eastern half of the country, but certainly the amplitude not nearly as significant as we've seen uh, in recent days. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this uh, Thursday. Uh, expect to have the next one posted. As, uh, as I noted, uh, James is on vacation, so he'll be back, I believe, uh, late next week. So I'll be sub substituting for him for the next uh, week or so with one-a-day Weather Extreme videos. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Thursday. That means it's Friday Eve, so I'm working for the weekend. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed.